Good afternoon my darlings, welcome to a new vlog, not good morning today because Charlie and I have spent the morning finishing off loads of work bits and also packing up our overnight bags because this weekend we are heading to our favourite hotel in the Cotswolds for a little bit of a Valentine's Day staycation which we are very very much looking forward to. I'm completely matching and blending in <laughs> with this room. I've come up here to grab my bag and my laptop charger. We are filling up the car, we're going to have a spot of lunch and then we are hitting the road. The hotel is less than an hour away, so it's not exactly a road trip, but it is one of the most scenic rides from our house to the hotel. We drive through Chipping Norton, we drive through Burford. We've got some lovely things planned. We have got dinner booked in this evening. We have got some spa treatments. Um, and then I think we're gonna visit some of our favorite Cotswold hotspots tomorrow. So it's gonna be a rather lovely weekend. weekend a special celebration I am going to be making my favorite cocktail to kick this weekend off in style and it is of course the espresso martini cocktail now I cannot quite believe how easy it is to make an espresso martini cocktail you only need three or four ingredients and it takes a matter of seconds literally seconds to do this at home so fantastic if you are having a dinner party and you want to just serve something a little bit more exciting to your guests I think everybody loves an espresso martini cocktail. There are a few different ways that you can make it a little bit more your own as well. You can add different garnishes, you can add vanilla, you could add peppermint, but I'm gonna show you how easy and amazing it is to create the classic espresso martini cocktail. I'm gonna be using Grey Goose Vodka, which has always been my absolute favorite. I am so thrilled to be working with Grey Goose again. I worked with Grey Goose many, many years ago and actually went out to France with them. I stayed at the Chateau where it all began. And to me, there is just, there's just nothing else that even comes close. It is made with the finest French ingredients. Um, and for cocktails, it is, it's my number one. So that is where I'm, let's just get started. So this is, where we're going to begin with the espresso martini cocktail. You'll need a cocktail shaker, a glass, some ice for mixing in with your cocktail shaker, some lovely espresso, a coffee liqueur. This is the one that they recommend on the Grey Goose website. I'm also gonna leave the Grey Goose YouTube channel linked down below because they have got loads and loads of different video tutorials for various different cocktails you can create. And you'll also need a pinch of salt. Do not forget this step. So let's get started with 50 ml of Grey Goose, 30ml of coffee liqueur, 20ml of espresso, and a pinch of salt. I would say with cocktails, as with literally, sorry about the light, it is so windy outside, the clouds are just going a bit crazy. I would say with cooking, it's the same as with cocktails. The end result is just gonna be even better if you choose high quality ingredients. So even, even the sea salt, this is Cornish sea salt, really beautiful quality. Obviously, we've spent a lot of time um, finding the perfect coffee machine. Charlie really prides himself in finding the most excellent coffee beans. And of course, the absolute best vodka. All of these things just make the difference from an average espresso martini cocktail to an incredible espresso martini cocktail. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of ice into the shaker. Make sure the lid is on very, very, sturdily and shake it up. I beg your pardon. Take your cocktail glass. And now this is the moment of truth where you see if you have managed to get that perfect crema on top. I think we have nailed it. And then the perfect finishing touch is of course a couple of coffee beans to garnish your espresso martini cocktail. Did I just move this plant so that that last little clip could be more beautiful? Yes, I did. <laughs> but there we have it, my darlings. The perfect, I bet you can't believe how easy that was to make, the perfect 
espresso martini cocktail you've got the crema on top i didn't even have to ask charlie to come and help me shake it and just finishing with those little coffee beans makes all the difference i cannot tell you how much my mind was blown when i found out how easy it was to make a great espresso martini cocktail and now whenever friends come over it's kind of my party trick just whipping them out they taste fantastic and yeah, they're just my absolute favorite. So give it a go, my darlings. Next time you have got friends over, next time you have a dinner party, if you are having a dinner date at home for Valentine's Day or you've got your girlfriends coming over, why not create the perfect espresso martini cocktail? So I'm gonna enjoy this while Charlie and I have our lunch and we'll see you at the hotel. Cheers. To our favourite place. I think it suits you, darling. Did you? Yeah. It two, suits you, darling. Women and one guy was like, "Oh, yeah, I like your pink case." I was like, <laughs> "Well, it is actually rather hard." <laughs> this is where we got a lot of inspiration for the Luz Gravel Garden. It looks beautiful with all the different plants growing out. Gorgeous pergola. Time to check in. in the garden here. What have you spotted, darling? Well, firstly, what I've spotted is that it just shows how amazing Nicholson's are because they're, they've done a very similar collection of plants here. Mm -hmm. So we've obviously got u balls like this. Yeah. Actually, this one here doesn't look too happy. But, oh, no, he doesn't. Um, but what I know is, is, I guess, what you learn about gardening year after year mm. is we have these. I think they're called sedums. Yeah. And obviously, technically, with perennial, stuff and with a herbaceous border the rule is if it's brown cut, cut it, it down. down so in the autumn you normally cut these down or even in the sort of early winter and then you let them come back in the spring mm. but actually they've just left them to go brown oh and they look really quite effective they do it's nice to have a little bit of the shape in the winter isn't it yeah they so look gorgeous. Um, to ask Jack who helps in our garden mm. um, what she thinks of that and then I think this is awesome isn't it? It's nice to have a, a feature especially when nothing much is in bloom. Looks lovely. Our beautiful room, my gosh, I'm looking a little bit shiny. I popped on a nice cozy outfit for the drive, which is only about 45 minutes. We've not gone too far, but we've checked in and it is the most glorious afternoon. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of exploration. We have got spa treatments in about 45 minutes. So we're gonna head down to the beautiful spa. What are you doing, darling? I'm gonna close this quietly. <laughs> <laughs> vlogging. Oh dear. There you go. It's actually a spectacular unit, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's well it's um I think it I think it's probably not even the whole, it's just been really cleverly painted. Oh. Um it's the sort of thing you'd find in set to interiors, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Right, hang on. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Well done. So this is our lovely room. It's got very much terracotta and countryside earthy green tones. Absolutely beautiful. Gosh, my voice is sounding very nasal. From my cold and we have got a beautiful view out the window onto the gardens this beautiful old tree is that an elm tree would you say i don't know what an elm or tree looks I don't like know. no no that is a fir tree isn't it a fir tree yeah that is that like the one from downton abbey so they're grand. iconic aren't they the yeah. way they sort of just like like silhouette in the sky incredible yeah well i think we should make the most of this afternoon sunshine and go for a little walk what have you spotted darling I quite like, so we're obviously having our kitchen garden redone in the well, end of March and we're just finalising the design with Nicholson's. Our raised beds will look a little bit like this, they're oak, um, they're not reclaimed like this, but they will weather really nicely. But what I really like is the, not necessarily this is that gravel, but the idea of gravel around parts of the raised bed. Yeah. Obviously you need to be able to access it, but then you can have stuff growing around. Mm. 
So, for example, I mean, this is maybe not that practical a raised bed because you can't access most of it. Yeah. But ours would maybe just have it on one end. Yeah. And then you'd still be able to access the rest of it. You'd have even like verbenas and stuff coming up, adding a bit of height around the raised bed. Mm, I just lovely. think it's really nice. It looks gorgeous. I mean, that's stunning, isn't it? How they've done all of that. It's a lovely area. Bear in mind, like, this is the worst <coughs> it'll ever look in terms of... <laughs> Time of the and, year. Yeah. Mm, it's true. It's still beautiful. First treat while we're here is to have a lovely massage. I'm having a, I think it's an hour long signature treatment. I think we're gonna start with a very, very quick um, facial. The skin on my face is quite dry at the moment. Um, so that's how we're gonna start. And then I think a focus on the shoulders and the back. I'm probably gonna feel very, very sleepy afterwards. So I'm gonna zone out and I'll catch up with you probably back in the room before dinner. Well, good evening, darlings. It's a few hours later now, and <sighs> the massages were just absolutely heavenly. I actually had the same lady as I had last time we were here, and she's just incredible, just very, very relaxing. She did a very quick um, facial, like five minutes on the face, because I said my skin was quite dry after my peel the other day, and then just the most relaxing full body massage. How was your treatment, darling? Genuinely, I would say they're the best, ma the best treatments we've had in the UK. Wow. Both times. Because yeah. yeah, obviously you, now we can actually sort of firmly say it. Because first time around you're like, well you could have just got lucky. Yeah. I had a different girl. You had Kate who I had last time. Yeah. We both and she's last amazing. Time. Mm. But I think it's it's just quite put simply, they're just very experienced, well trained, very good at their jobs. Mm. And I think without naming names, there's a few other places with us in the UK that they're more inexperienced and maybe haven't had the training. Yeah. Um, but to charge the big bucks, which they do here, it's you know it's important that they've got experience. Mm. Amazing. So feeling very relaxed. Yeah. Jolly do, good. Do you know what did make a big difference? It's the bed. Yeah. Do you see how super high tech it is? Mm -hmm. They're these massage beds. They're like this wide, mm. but they've got heaters in them. Yeah. They're just super. I mean, I, I thought maybe something like that would be good as an actual bed. Like, why do actual beds not have stuff like mm. that? Maybe we can get a high-tech bed. So I've just popped on a nice little floral dress for dinner and we're heading to the main barn. The food here is absolutely incredible, so no doubt we are in for a treat. Nice as well. So what's this, like a polenta? Yeah, polenta it's called chips? Panissa, but I think it's, I don't think it is polenta, it's like a polenta. Good.
Good morning, darlings. So we had a lovely night's sleep after our incredible dinner here at time last night. We've actually had a couple of work calls this morning. So we've had a very productive Friday morning and we're checking out of the room now. I think we're gonna have a little wonder around the beautiful gardens. It is such a glorious day. I bought some lovely cute outfits with me, but I just wanna be warm because it's absolutely freezing outside. So I've bundled up in my cape and my cashmere and my thermals. Um, we're gonna go for a little walk around the beautiful grounds. There's just so much inspo here, whether it's interiors or gardens. And then the plan of action is to head to Burford Garden Company and then a pub restaurant that Charlie is a huge fan of, The Bell at Langford. Is that on our way home or? It, so The Bell at Langford is just beyond Burford, but from here, it's before we get to Burford. It's probably the nearest really good gastro pub to here. It's about an eight minute drive. And Double Road Duke. I think Double Road Duke's about 10 minutes from here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take a very scenic long journey home via the Bell at Langford, Burford Garden Company, and Setu Interiors. So, a lovely, leisurely Friday. Look at that view. How are you doing, my man? Any opportunity that Charlie gets to quiz a gardener, he will. <laughs> so he's currently finding out whether you can train home oaks like that tree into this shape here because we've just got some young home oaks 15 year old home oaks put in in the garden and we think it'd be rather lovely to get them looking like this so this is the gorgeous courtyard area it's just so beautiful and i think we've decided we're going to take some inspo from these hellebores which is one of the only flowers that's really that beautiful at this time of year i think we might pop some of these down by our yew hedge archway just to bring some colour in at this time of year. Tomato fried chicken. Do you want to share a load of things? Mm -hmm. Hedgehog food? So we have got our loot from the garden center. I don't think Charlie and I have ever been in a garden center and not bought a load of things, but this time of year is quite 
exciting when it comes to shopping in garden centers because next month is when you can start planting all of your seeds so i picked up some gnarly pumpkin seeds some mosh too and um some early fruiting marrows although this year's growing season is going to be a little bit strange because i don't have my greenhouse and the kitchen garden is not going to be ready for me to actually plant stuff until late spring but i do have the antique uh, cold frame that charlie got me for my birthday so we were going to pop in to an antique shop on the way home but we're both feeling like we just want to get home put the fire on and Finish hang out with like... our little boys yeah and do a few emails so i'm actually going to end the vlog here i know it's probably been quite a short vlog this time but as you might have been able to see <laughs> from my appearance and also hear from my voice i have been a little bit uh, a little bit under the weather let's say so i've probably not been my usual chipper vlogging self i think i've pointed the camera on you more than usual this time i have been the boring focal point i'm sorry Star if i bored show. anyone with my obsession with gardens and interiors but i must say though like these sort of trips i do find really inspiring we come back from these sort of little escapes and we feel refreshed i know you're not feeling great but you, you have, have we have had a bit of downtime interior inspo and as you say the garden we're very excited it's the sort of time of year where you put in the hard graft now and then you see the benefit in like May, June. Yeah. So it's that sort of time where you just put a few people and now you get the benefit if you want. So it's exciting. Exactly. Well, we're, we're not really going to get the benefit until like early summer though, are we? Well, I think, uh, well, with uh, lots of parts of the garden, we will. Like all yeah, the front of the house borders. and everything in all the borders that we had yeah. last year. I mean, keep an eye on Old House at home because we're going to be sharing a lot more on our home Instagram. Yeah. And be a lot more active. I always feel like it's a bit, it's not a great deal to update you in the last few months, but the next few months it's going to be a lot more activity, isn't there? Mm -hmm. and, um, and even some before and afters, because we were looking back at our garden. 